Hey guys, for the month of December and to close out the year, I thought of starting a series showcasing my favorite or most worn items in my closet that I haven't really shown or discussed before on the channel and kind of tell the story of how I bought some of my grails or how I would wear my favorite things often. A lot of the videos will be pieces I bought years ago like Chanel sneakers from 2015 or 2018 season wraps in this, and a lot more that I think haven't really been seen on YouTube. I do also plan on making videos of everyday things like my favorite Dickies pants and stuff like that and I don't expect a lot of views or engagement but for a while now I've been wanting to provide my perspective on fashion and what I've personally been liking and wearing. When I first thought about doing this series, I wanted to make one video a day for all of December, but I'm quickly finding out that it's going to be physically impossible with just editing alone with the time that I have. But I'll do my best to make as many as I can and I'll sprinkle in the pickups I get, especially from the Black Friday sale. I thought I'd start off the series with something light. Since I posted this picture on Instagram a couple of years ago, every once in a while I get requests to review this code on YouTube, and I thought it'd be a fitting start to the series. Here we have the Undercover River Samurai trench coat from their Fall Winter 2020 collection. Honestly, the whole collection from the season was amazing, and if you have the time, I'd highly suggest you check it out if you're not familiar. I'll leave a direct link down in the description to the Hypebeast article covering the collection, but yeah, I'd say this coat is one of the more toned down and tame pieces of the collection. I was super lucky when I found this coat on Farfetch. I got this coat around the time when the Evangelion undercover collection dropped. I was looking on Farfetch to see if I could grab certain leftover pieces of the Evangelion collection when I came across this on clearance. The coat came up on like the last search page of undercover in the last size which was the 4 I needed. I ended up buying it and to my surprise the coat shipped directly from Undercover in Japan and not a department store or retailer. I'm surprised they even had this for almost a year since the collection released. It came brand new with tags, wrapped, and with the branded hanger which I was super stoked about. It's a long trench coat made with this premium twill like con fabric and has the vibrant red graphic printed on it. I have this in a size 4 which is equivalent to an extra large and it does fit pretty true to size. My favorite detail on this coat is definitely the strings to knot the coat, but there is a hidden button fastening to help reinforce the coat closed if the strings aren't used. There is a removable thinly quilted inner lining that runs down the body of the coat and even extends down the sleeves. The lining can be removed with the buttons located throughout the inside of the coat, but it looks like it's a hassle and I've never had the reason to do it. It has kept me relatively warm the couple of times I wore it. The only downside is that it's also not waterproof or water resistant at all. I think the perfect time to wear this coat is on that cold cloudy day just after the rain. I thought about styling this exactly the same as back in 2021, but ultimately decided to just slightly switch it up. I still have the ambush boots, they have some crazy wear on them now, but I decided to ditch the hoodie and go with some Fear of God Essentials Hanley long sleeve and some Dickies pants. I don't know if you can tell, but the coat does look puffy as if I'm wearing multiple layers underneath, but if you take the quilted lining out, you could get this awesome loose oversized look with the coat. Like I mentioned earlier, it's too cold out right now for me to try it, but I do look forward to seeing how the coat will look without the lining on me. I hope you enjoyed the video and are as excited as I am with this series. I have some low-key crowd favorites coming up and I hope to stay consistent with the videos this month.